What's up guys, it's your creative friends, I'm Stud, and I'm Clutch. In the comments below, give your best warm welcome to Clutch. He's going to be joining us from time to time and giving us some awesome detail analysis on the sets that we review and some of the value and some of the unique pieces in each set because Clutch is one of the largest sellers on BrickLink. If you've purchased parts on BrickLink, chances are you've purchased from his store. The number one seller in Pennsylvania. Store name? Bricks on the Dollar. And we'll link up to that in the description below. Also a member of Penlug. So shout out to Penlug. But we're going to review for you here today. This is... Tell them about it, Clutch. This is 60027. The Monster Truck Transporter. It comes with 299 pieces. And it's for ages 5 to 12. That's all of them. That's all the ages. It's a lot of ages. And let's see. This is a two booker. And we've also did a time lapse on this that we'll put up probably after the review. So check out the time lapse on this and the cargo heliplane. Is that what that thing's called? Yes. Cargo heliplane. Awesome time lapse. All right, let's get to the details of this set. Let's zoom in. All right, guys, here it is 60027. The, what is it, Monster Truck Transporter. So we do get the transporter. Here is the big monster truck see the suspension there the three figs that are all exclusive to the set and then the ramp that the monster truck can use to jump maybe over other smaller cars with big suite of tools that we'll get to but first things first let's get the mini figures on the pedestal and get a better look and this is our first mechanic of team airborne just get you a close-up on torso there where you can see the printing that says airborne Here is the back printing, which also does say Airborne on it. And then this minifigure does come with the hat piece where the headphones are an additional piece that goes on. You can see the hole there. And then here's the minifigure without the hat on. It's got the cool shades and gloves. And this is our second mechanic. He does not get the headphones. Although we do get one in the extra pieces. If you want to hook them up, you get some extras. And then here it just says with the cap off so you can get a better look at the face printing. And lastly, this is our monster truck driver. And he's got the helmet on with the visor. And he enjoys what he does. He's got a smile expression happening. All right, now here's a shot of the tools and Clutch is gonna take us through why we wanted to talk about these. Well, we used to get six tools on a sprue and that would be the wrench, the box wrench, the screwdriver, the hammer, the drill, and the oil can. But now we're getting nine and they don't come on a sprue wheel now, but there's three new tools and the six existing tools have all been remolded. We have an adjustable wrench, a four-way tire iron, and a, um, a ratchet socket right here. Those are all brand new to this, although all nine of them are new molds. All right, next up I want to show you the monster truck. And you can see that it does have the stickering on both sides for license plate. And then we also get... Did you even, uh, did you even notice the vanity plate in the front? What's that? Spoilers. Yes, yeah, spoilers because the airborne spoilers. And we've got a couple of doors that open like this, if I can get in there. And then our minifigure, where is he? Our driver can get right on the inside. Now, interestingly, and you can see right off here that the windshield doesn't actually have anything to connect to there well when you shut the door it makes it look more complete kind of an interesting design and then we can put the roof back on i like how you can see the suspension here that you do see uh, it's a good representation of all the monster trucks and then we have some extra detail on the bottom so that is our monster truck and we also get this ramp 
that also has the Airborne spoiler sticker and logo on it. And I've got my uh, small car here. This was one that was sent to us from Sweden, I believe. It was only available in Sweden, but we are going to demonstrate with it. And we're gonna use the monster truck just to give you some scale that the monster truck would jump over the ramp and then smash onto any other cars that you have. So you can just see that this is a small car and then this is the monster truck. So I guess, let's see if we could just push it and then it could jump over. Maybe if we go like this, we get a better shot at it. Uh, what's cool is that the ramp does have these rubber stoppers, so it's not going to go anywhere. And we've seen this in a lot of sets now. I know a lot of the Speedor sets, those ramps come with those rubber stoppers too. This one seems to work a lot better, uh, maybe just because it's bigger and then the truck itself weighs more than a Speedor's does. Now here is the trailer for our monster truck. So if we put our monster truck back on, you can see that there is a space for the wheels and that makes sure that this doesn't move. And then also a ramp in the back where there are stickers. So our monster truck can ride up the ramp and then get into place and it's not going anywhere. But if we just take this off, I did want to show you that there are a couple of storage areas here for the tools. This does come off like this. You can see the bottom, there's four wheels on it. And then another compartment on the other side for some more tools. And then we have the cab, which is also all stickered up with the Airborne Spoilers logo, some flames are along the side, and then the license plate is not a vanity plate, this is likely the designer's initials and then the set number. And we also have a sticker here that represents some more cabinets or some more tools that could be stored on the side of the cab. This does pop off and looks like you can fit two minifigures on the inside because there are three in the set. So two here and then one in the monster truck. There you go. Well, that does it for the zoom in. Now stick around for a very special brand new segment. So we're gonna try a new segment here. We're gonna call this the clutch factor where we're gonna give you a little demonstration on how you can earn some free Lego by parting out your set, just selling a couple pieces and having the rest of the pieces that you can use for like your own mocks and stuff. So it's a really cool strategy and we've got an expert here to explain it to you. So we'll let Clutch take it away. So this set retails at $30, which I might have mentioned earlier. The part out value, if you were to sell every piece in here, is $59.41. That is nearly double what you paid for it. There's a great return already. But say you want to keep most of it, but you want to offset the price of buying it in the first place. There are a few pieces here that I've displayed, which are great sellers. The first piece, this is rare, and it's only in a couple sets. This new gray bracket is 90 cents alone. That's $1 back on your $30 investment right there. Next we have this new red piece that's only in this set so far. This one's stickered for the set, but you don't have to sticker it. That red piece is 52 cents. Up next we have the giant airborne spoilers tile here. This 8x16 tile is $1.38 just for this. Stickers or not. Next up, we have the three minifigs in the set. Together, if you sell all three of them, you get $11.66 for them. And finally, we have all the new tools, but there's nine new tools, and together they are $3.89. You have your hammer, you have your wrench, you have your other wrench, you have your drill, you have your entire iron, you got a ratchet, a spanner, a oil can and a screwdriver. Now, if you were to sell the figs, the three parts I talked about, as well as all the tools, you'd get $20 back of your $30 investment. That's two thirds of what you paid for the set in the first place. Well, we tried a couple new things in this video and we're gonna be doing them more often. Uh, so we're gonna have Clutch be a part of our team here. And if you enjoyed it, let us know what you thought about the Clutch Factor segment. Some really useful information there, and really we want to see you guys try and get as much Lego as you can 
and like go to your parents and be like, hey, if I buy this $30 set, I can make 20 bucks back right now. Boom! So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If this is your first time hanging with us, go ahead and subscribe. And all that means is you'll get a little update the next time we post a video so you can learn some more valuable information like this. So, check you guys in the comments. We'll see you next time on Your Creative Friends. Stay creative. Peace!